not too long ago, creating an e-commerce store on your WordPress website meant using WooCommerce, which sometimes can feel a bit overkill, but not anymore with a free plugin called ShareCart a seamless, fast, and modern e-commerce plugin for WordPress. So in this video, I will show you what you need to know to start selling online with ShareCart in 10 minutes. To get started, go to ShareCart and don't click on it. You're just gonna hover over Get Started, right-click and open link in a new tab. Next, you wanna navigate to this new tab and click on Create New Store. Select your brand color and your currency and then click on Continue. Next, you can start with demo products if you want, but we're going to start from scratch. Click on continue, confirm your email for store notifications and hit continue. And congratulations, your store has been created. So you're being invited to add a product, but we're just going to close this. Next, click on complete setup. And here you can either continue with Google or create your account with your email address. So I'm just going to fill in the details and hit sign up. Next, you will land on the shortcard dashboard and at the top, you will see a prompt to verify your email address by clicking on this button in the email you received. And there you go. Your email address has been verified. Now, this is the ShareCard dashboard and it's hosted on the ShareCard servers, which makes it both safer and faster. Now, you can also access the dashboard through WordPress admin, but if you ever want to go back to the hosted version, you can access it via the address appearing on screen right now. Now, if you remember, I asked you to open this page in a new tab, but in case you didn't, no panic. All you need to do is go to general and you will find your store URL right here. But in my case, I'm just going to close this tab. Okay, so we're back in WordPress admin. Next, you wanna to go to shortcut, settings, and here you get a bunch of self-explanatory categories for the settings, which you can fill in. And more about that later. Next, let's create our first product. So for that, you wanna to go to products, Click on add new, give your product a name, hit create. And here we're gonna fill in the details like description, pricing. So here is the description, then click add a price. Let's call it standard price. It's a one-time payment and let's give it a price of $19. Then hit create price. Now let's click on add images. And I'm gonna pick this image from the media library, hit select. Now, if I scroll down, the rest is more for physical products, except downloads. So I'm going to click on add downloads. And here you can either upload your file on ShareCard servers, or you can add an external link, which is what I'm going to choose. I'm going to give it a name and paste a valid URL. Then click on add link and voila. Now let me scroll back up. Make sure it says digital product. I'm going to select auto fulfill so that people can download once they purchase. And here you can set your taxes, collections, limitations, and even affiliate commissions. So let me scroll back up. And here at the top, you see instant checkout. So I'm going to enable test mode. So this allows you to test the instant checkout flow without processing real transactions. And of course, after testing, you can disable test mode and publish the product for live sales. Now in our case, we're going to do both test mode and I'm going to publish it because we're going to access the website as a customer in a different browser and make a mental note for later, because here you can find the URL to that instant checkout. So compared to the regular checkout, the instant checkout is perfect, for example, if someone just gonna buy one product. Well, you see what I talk about in a moment. So next, click on save and publish, and then let's go back to products, and we're gonna add more products. So click add new, and you know the drill now, add a name, fill in the details, and now this is a physical product, with variations, so we can just click on variants, add an option name like size, then add sizes, click done, and let's add one more, color, let's give it some values, click on done, so now we get all these variations, now let's scroll back up, and this time let's select physical products, we can give it a shipping weight, and again we're going to enable instant checkout test mode, and let's publish it. Now let's save and publish, and I'm going to add a third product repeating the same process. Okay, now let's give our visitors access to our products. So if we go to pages, you can see that several pages were automatically created like checkout, dashboard, and shop page. So let's add the shop page to our navigation. So for that, you wanna to go to Astra, Customize, 
Then you want to go to Menus, Header, click on Add Items, and here in Page, you can see Shop. So I'm just going to click on it, and then I'm just going to drag and drop it here, just reordering the navigation. Now, I'm also going to add a dashboard for a brief moment. Let me show you. Then I'm going to click here on Dashboard, scroll down, and here you see the link. So I'm going to right-click and copy the link. All right. So next, I'm going to remove dashboard and simply because I need that URL, you'll see in a moment. So let me go back. And what I can do here is just hover over the menu here. And here at the bottom, you see the header builder. So first of all, I'm going to remove this button. Then I'm going to click on the plus sign and add the account icon. And it's the icon right here. So next, I'm going to click here where it says account URL, and then I'm just going to paste the URL I just copied. So now we both have access to the shop and to the customer dashboard. Now, don't forget to repeat the operation for tablet and mobile versions, which you can access here at the bottom. So that's for the tablet and for the mobile. Now let's go back to desktop mode. And let's publish. Now let's close this. Next, let's go to Surecard Products. Open your product. Then click on Instant Checkout and copy the URL by clicking on this icon. Now hover over the name of your website. Click on Visit Site. And here on the home page, I'm just going to click on Edit Page. So here I'm going to click on the button here. Then go to Call to Action. And where you see link, I'm going to remove the pound sign and just paste the address I just copied. And then click on save. Okay, time to test. So as a visitor, if I click here, this is the instant checkout form. If I just want to buy this item, I can do it from here. As you can see, it's beautiful and modern. Now, the other way to do it is the standard way. So let me click on shop. And here I'm going to open this product. Select a size, a color, and add to cart. And as you can see here, I have a gorgeous and modern sliding cart. Now, let me add one more product. Let me go back to the store and let's add our ebook and click add to cart. Next, let me click on checkout. And here I'm just going to fill in the details. And as I scroll, you see we are in test mode for the payment processor. So let me hit purchase. And there you go. Your payment was successful. A receipt is on its way to your inbox. So from here, I can hit continue and I am redirected to the customer dashboard. And by the way, in case you close this tab, you got an email, you can always reaccess this customer dashboard by clicking on this button. So here you are prompted to set a password. So just click on it, type your password and confirm. Hit set password. And for the rest, you can access your orders. And if you open the order, you see the recap, you can access your invoice. And here in the left navigation, you can also access your subscriptions and downloads if applicable. And in our case, we can see we have one digital file, the Just Run ebook PDF. Next, here at the bottom, you can also access your account details and payment methods. Now, back to WordPress admin as the website manager. If you go to Surecard, Dashboard, you can easily manage your orders and the many options you can access from the navigation. To accept credit cards on your online store, from the Surecard settings, click on Payment Processors, and here you will see all the available processors. There are many options, but for this video, we're going to use Stripe. So before we get started, make sure you have a Stripe account. It's free to sign up. Just go to stripe.com, sign up, and follow these self-explanatory steps. Now, once your account is created, click on Stripe, and Stripe once again. Next, click on Connect, and select Live Mode. Let's connect our Stripe account. So type in the email address you use for your Stripe account, hit submit, enter your password, and submit one more time. Next, click connect. And as you can see, Stripe in live mode has been connected successfully. So congratulations, you're now ready to process live payments. Now, very important. Once you go live, don't forget to deactivate test mode on your products. Now, if you need help on how to set up other live payment methods like PayPal, for example, or if you need any help with Surecard, please visit our Getting Started Guide, which you can access at this address. And of course, you'll find a link in the description.